Hey, how's it going everybody and welcome back. So as some of you may know, I've been taking it a little easy the last couple of days after recovering from the recent Monster Taming Direct and all that it entailed. But I did wanna have a quick discussion about what's next for the genre and the channel, especially if you're new here, so you can get an idea of sort of what's up. So as you might've already known, if you've seen the Monster Taming Direct, which will be linked below, we did get some very exciting news, including a release date for Anode Heart and some games that I haven't even heard of until the Direct had its submissions. That being said, I wanted to make a major focus of the upcoming weeks to explore some of these games such as Unlitch and Photogeist Album, as well as to continue to put a spotlight on some of the other lesser known games as well. In terms of the remainder of the year, we do have a pretty interesting lineup overall. We have the Pokemon DLC, which is coming out next week, which honestly, I haven't decided whether or not I'm going to review because it hasn't really enticed me very much outside of the, you know, sort of business decision to get it and review it for my channel. I'm not really feeling it, but I'll let you guys know in a few days if I decide to get it in regards to that because I do feel like you guys deserve some feedback on it but other than that we have Moonstone Island coming out on the 20th which to be honest is a life sim farming style game mixed with a deck builder which isn't my typical cup of tea but Moonstone seems to be looking really good so I'm gonna give it a go anyway and hopefully we'll enjoy it from there we are then supposed to have some sort of Coromon release information regarding mobile and the next major update later this month which is definitely exciting Evo Creo 2 is also supposed to be releasing soon October if I'm not mistaken then we have Anode Heart in mid-November, followed by Dragon Quest Monsters on December 1st. Definitely looking to be a pretty big rest of the year for sure. And don't forget that these are just updates that we have confirmed release dates or windows for. We also have games like Tales of Tenorio that's releasing this year. We've got a second Pokemon DLC, quite a few updates for various games as well, and many others that just have 2023 as their listed release window. Granted that any game that doesn't have a release date yet most likely is gonna end up getting delayed till 2024, hence why I didn't mention them at first, but still. In terms of the channel, things are gonna be busy business as usual with me covering the latest monster taming news, breakdowns, guides, showcases, etc. And as these various games come out, we'll provide the adequate coverage that they deserve. In the short term, I would like to make some monster taming direct related videos like I did last year, going into some of my favorite trailers from the direct, potentially going into some of the games that didn't make it into the direct in a constructive way. This would definitely entail me getting permission from certain developers and whatnot. I'm not just going to blast people. I was also thinking maybe a video discussing the difficulties of running such a large collaboration and more. So stay tuned for all of that as well. I'd also like to dive into more fan games like the plethora of Pokemon fan games that exist, as well as some of the Digimon fan games we haven't covered yet. As stated in yesterday's video, the next direct will most likely take place on Labor Day next year or around that time, but I also wouldn't be against having a Monster Taming Direct Mini towards the end of the year, depending on where various developers are at. And this would be like a 20 to 30 minute showcase for devs that maybe wanted to come to this direct, but couldn't. But like I said yesterday, this is still sort of up in the air. All in all, I have a lot of plans for the channel. And if you're not already subscribed, definitely consider doing so. The goal is to hit 70K by the end of the year, or maybe 75, depending on how crazy things get. So definitely join me on this journey to 100K. But other than that, I just wanted to say again, special thanks to everybody that participated in the direct and to my patrons, especially Jim Hamilton, Drogo, Stark, Persona Exodus, and Candy Morency, and I'll see you next time. Peace.